JCPS says a gun fell out of a student's backpack during a fight in the cafeteria, sending the entire Eastern High School into panic this morning. And our Gladys Batista talked with some of those parents who picked their children up for the day about their frustration and relief. The situation wasn't worse. There's been a continuous line of cars and parents waiting here outside Eastern High School to pick up their children. This after some of them tell me they received one of the scariest calls of their lives. Someone did call me about that. Yeah, I was on my way up here. John Martin IV says what his son told him sent him into a panic. He says someone with a gun pointing about to pull out a gun in the cafeteria. He rushed to Eastern High School Monday, joining all of these parents coming to pick up their children. Martin says his son was front and center when a fight broke out in the cafeteria. A JCPS spokeswoman says during that fight, a gun fell out of a student's backpack and slid across the cafeteria floor, causing chaos for everyone in and outside the lunchroom. Nerick Johnson says the day started off like any other Monday. Until you get a text from your daughter uh, that she and her classmates were in the closet hiding. Uh, they heard yelling and screaming, and somebody said gun. And uh, they were told by the teacher to uh, get in the closet, shut the blinds. Johnson tells me he knew he had to get there as quickly as possible, which was a hard realization he couldn't do more. I teach her every day. My job is to provide and protect. So I could provide, but in this moment I could not protect. So I just did a lot of praying. While JCPS says no one was hurt physically, Johnson already notices the emotional toll on his 15-year-old daughter. She's distraught. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're going to probably take a mental health day tomorrow and assess some things and make sure she's okay. Which has him hoping for more healing. Actually, I pray for the guys that did it, right? They're lost, so they need help. So hopefully we'll, those kind of kids, and including our other kids, will get the uh, attention and help that they need. But the Martins say there needs to be help to prevent and protect. They need someone there, like the security, to, to have something, to, you know, to carry something, because it's getting worse. People die here every day, and they can't be in them. We don't deserve it like that. Reporting in Middletown, Gladys Bautista, WOKY News.